Hello, my name is Kyle, I work for Slant 3 d Today we're going to be making a lithophane. I have never made one before, can't be that hard, right? So I've previously found this website called Lithophane Maker. Let's see how easy it is. A lithophane is essentially a, a photo negative. You shine light through it. On the other end of it, it creates an image. So we'll have a look at some examples of lithophanes. I'd assume that you would need some pretty decent high contrast images to make it work, since it is going to be black and white. But honestly, photographs look like they do very well. Find a subject, we'll print a few of them. My mother was actually a stained glass maker for 30 years and works in the same way. It's just, this is a bit easier to do and a bit cheaper. We'll do SpaceX related stuff. So, I love Starship. So does Gabe. Let's see a good high contrast image. That one will probably work pretty well. I wonder how bright the flame is going to look. So save the image to the desktop. WebP. Uh, we'll see if it works. Never seen a WebP before. And it looks like WebP is not compact. Are we able to save it in any other way? Nope. All right, I'll take a screenshot. I hope I'm not supposed to be filling all of this empty space. That's what editing is for, right? We'll look at a wallpaper. Oh, that's good. I'm skeptical if the stars are gonna show up. Falcon Heavy, that's a classic. Finally, a JPEG. All right, that looks pretty good. See if we can crop it a little bit, get rid of that bottom. Crop height. The way that a lithophane works is that it detects bright portions of images and dark portions of images and adjusts how thick the material is in the 3D print for that particular area. So it prints a photo negative. A thin area would be a bright area and a thick area would be a dark area. So obviously you have to use a transparent filament or translucent filament. We have a, a good white that will work for this. But I believe that we're trying to source a dark colour too, a black maybe, and we'll see if that can work in the same way. So I'd assume that if we turn the contrast up, we're going to get a better image. Let's see. Beautiful. That looks like an Andy Warhol thing. <laughs> see, you're losing detail, but I'd think that that would look better. You want the bright areas to pop and the dark areas to, you know, not expose your end at all. We'll bring that back to zero. Blur. Don't think we're going to have to add any blur. All right, let's see. So this is a this is a flat plane lithophane. I was hoping for a round one, but yeah, as you can see, the darker areas are the thickest, and the thinner areas are not. It looks pretty good on here. Can we change that to yeah, plane, cylinder, sphere? What's that gonna look like as a sphere? <laughs> yeah, this is what we're gonna go for. Beautiful. Now I think you'd need some specially morphed image to make that work. Arc. Now that's good. You can make a you can make your own sort of cylinder with that with multiple. Pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, that's not the one either. Revolve. It sort of works. Circle. It looks like something you'd put on your grandma's house. Christmas specials. Alright. Star tree. I realized that I should probably be more enthusiastic about this. Hexagon might be nice. You could put a bunch of them up on a wall and they'd fit together neatly. Of course, you could do that with a square as well. Oh wait, no. You want light behind it. Put a bunch of them on a flat panel display or something. Let's see cylinder. Bit thin. Make it thicker. 23. We'll do a plane. That'll probably turn out the best. So width, 100 by 140. Maximum thickness. Probably get better contrast if you make it thicker. Or give it the permission to be thicker. All right, that's pretty crazy looking. We'll see if it works. All right, download. We'll do lithophane only. I want the STL. We have one down. We'll do uh, another space related thing for this next one. Do an Apollo, no, space shuttle. Everyone loves a space shuttle. That's a pretty good image. That's a good image. We'll save this one to the OneDrive. There we go, that looks good. I don't think we really have to adjust anything. I can probably trust the website to do that. I might even just be making it worse adjusting things, to be honest. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll choose this one as well. It's got a lot of bright areas, some dark areas. The contrast will probably look pretty good. Try to turn up the contrast. Yeah, that looks good. I'll leave it at that. 
We have all three of our STLs. It's time to slice and put it on the printers.